Body shaving is a tradition in some sports. Maybe I should, you know, try it out, you know, for sports. Hey everybody, it's Trace. Thanks for tuning in to D News today. Shaving in sports is kind of a big deal. Cyclists do it to reduce road rash and to cut drag. Swimmers do it to feel slicker in the water and to cut drag. And bodybuilders do it, well, to look like this. Whoa. Anyway, you can see that speedy sports shave their bodies to cut drag. I think you got it by now. Basically, they're saying that they clean off these follicles and it's gonna help you win a race. How do you feel about leg shaving for swimmers? Meh. Yeah, that's how I felt about it until today. Go ahead and shave if you want, as long as you feel better. But science says I might have been playing down a significant advantage without even knowing it. Drag reduction in speed sports is a huge deal. Cyclists have been doing this shaving thing for over 100 years. But it wasn't until 1987 that a study was conducted for Bicycling Magazine by an engineer using a wind tunnel. This study determined that the speed savings were 0.6% which is kind of sad, because that's pretty small. Maybe enough to save five seconds over an hour race at 23 miles an hour. The results were so piddling and the wind tunnel so expensive to use that no one ever repeated the experiment, because they were like, why? Until now, a special bicycle-specific wind tunnel was built by the Specialized Cycling Company, and the researchers had free use of it for testing. Coincidentally, one of their riders had shaved that day, so they figured, why not look into it? Don't cost nothing. And they found that the shaving reduced the cyclist's drag by 7%. Seven! This meant that a cyclist in a 25 mile, one hour race could save 79 seconds simply by shaving their bod. These findings were so revolutionary and they were so shocked they didn't even believe it. So they double checked with five more cyclists and they all saved between 50 and 82 seconds over 40 kilometers. What? They also tested different helmets, different positions of riding, and long-sleeved racing gear, finding significant power savings here and there. They were so shocked that shaving worked, at least in cycling. In swimming, the jury is still kind of in over its head. Common wisdom is shaving is mostly psychological, at least in my experience as a former swimmer. How Stuff Works has, however, razors strip dead skin cells off the body in addition to hair, exposing a fresh layer of sensitive skin cells. And because of that, the swimmer feels better in the water. But does that translate to faster speeds? A 1989 study, the only one I could find, tested the physiology of shaved and unshaved swimmers while also testing their drag reduction. It turns out, physiologically, there were no differences in heart rate, oxygen use, or lactic acid buildup. That's the thing that makes your muscles burn while you exercise. There were, however, noticeable drag reductions. Mentally, swimmers probably believe themselves to be slicker and more powerful and thus faster in the water, even when science doesn't weigh in. But we are here to back them up because ladies and dudes, you are totally slicker. Some runners even get into the habit of body shaving, expecting that over a long race, maybe they'll reduce their drag a little bit. But more often, it's actually the clothing worn that will produce drag. So instead, most Olympic runners today wear computer-designed, NASA-influenced running suits designed to help them glide through the air. Or so they say. If you need a razor to shave with, why don't you try Harry's? Harry's was started by a couple of guys who liked shaving so much that they bought a razor factory to make their own. They're cheap, they show up at your door, and they are sharp both in look and uh, sharpness. Not only did they make it so that you don't have to pay a ton for blades, they made them easier to get. If you want to try Harry's and support DNews, go to harrys.com, use the promo code DNews, and save $5 off your first order. If you want to know more about hair, why don't you check out Lacey's video? It's right over there. It's right down there. You can also subscribe here to DNews and get more DNews every day of the week. But what about you? Would you shave yourself? Do you already shave yourself for a sport or something else? What for? I'm super curious about how people feel about this. See you later.